To install the barrel and handguard slip ring assembly and gas tube, you'll need the upper receiver vice block with insert, a barrel wrench, a torque wrench, snap ring pliers, and a number two roll pin holder and punch. A small flashlight would be handy also. The methods for installing a mil spec barrel are the same for all barrel lengths. From the rear of the barrel, slide the handguard slip ring with the narrow end facing forward, the slip ring spring, and the handguard retainer ring. Use your snap ring pliers to expand the handguard retainer ring and seat it into place in the cut of the barrel nut. Place your upper receiver into the upper receiver vice blocks and install the insert into the back of the receiver. Put the entire grouping into the vice jaws up to the lips and the side of the vice. Next, slide your barrel into the front of the receiver, making sure you align the pin in the top of the barrel with the cut in the upper receiver threads. Take your barrel wrench and attach it to your torque wrench, which is set at 30 foot-pounds. Pushing against the slip ring assembly, tighten the barrel nut down to 30 pounds of torque. 30 pounds of torque is the minimum amount needed to secure the barrel. We've typically found that you will achieve better accuracy with a minimal amount of torque above 30 foot-pounds. Make sure the cuts in the handguard retaining ring and spring are on top of the barrel. Look down the top of the barrel into the cuts in the barrel nut and into the receiver. It may be helpful to remove the vice block insert and shine a light in from the back of the receiver. You're looking for one of the cuts in the barrel nut to align with the gas tube port in the front of the receiver. Typically this doesn't happen with your first turn. Note the distance that you'll have to turn the nut to align with the next cut on the barrel nut and increase the torque setting on your wrench to 40 foot-pounds. Replace your insert back into the receiver if you've taken it out. Tighten the barrel nut a bit more. It's always better to do this in small steps that you don't go past the next cut you're trying to align. Check the alignment again. Keep repeating these steps and increase the torque setting in a wrench until you get a visual alignment. Once you have visual alignment, place your gas tube with the bend upward and the bulge towards the rear through the barrel nut into the receiver. It should pass through without any binding or resistance. If you encounter any resistance, remove your gas tube and turn the barrel nut either on or off to fine tune the alignment. A handy tool that prevents damage to the gas tube is to use the barrel nut alignment rod instead. Remove your barreled receiver from the vice block and place it into a front sight bench block with the words pins in facing up. Align the gas tube with the roll pin hole in the front sight base. Use your number two roll pin holder to start the gas tube roll pin in and finish driving in the pin with the roll pin punch until the roll pin fits flush with the side of the front sight base. Finally, compress the handguard slip ring and install each handguard front end first. In the next segment, we'll install the flash hider.